All right, so we're just on the photo charter now, and we're just out on the balcony on the outside having a look at the at the Duncan driving, which is taking place down below. And of course, we are right above the main line. It's fantastic this view up here. Uh, we've got a view of the Tallaghlin Railway and of the main line uh, that we travelled in from Shrewsbury on, and um, which we'll be travelling back towards Shrewsbury then Manchester That's on Monday. Unfo un unfortunately, yeah, as Luke says, it'll be a sad day, it will be. I mean, but I feel we will definitely come back here sometime. That's oh, for sure. Oh, definitely. Absolutely. This is one of my favourite places in the world now. It's my yeah, same. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, it's just great to see, isn't it? But yeah, we got our picnic is from uh, just after two, so we're just having a little look around and enjoying ourselves to the next part. So yeah, this is Stuart, known as the Picnics. This is one of the events that we will be going on for this. He's just come into Tallaghlin and he has one happy little engine. As he, look at him, look at him go. Just look at him. I love that smile he's got. Just look at him. <laughs> he's happy to be taking us to the picnic. Look, look, it's Oh, definitely, oh, yeah. yeah. We have been done up very nicely for this occasion. Sorry, guys. Look at that smile. Look at that winning smile. <laughs> <laughs> Huge thanks to the staff of the Tallinn taking the There we go, Tallinn Railway. Stuart heads down the line, the big smile for the camera. He's happy to see us. Oh, Jack's not here. And Jack has got Jack has gone for a smoke, so he's unfortunately missing us. Stuart stopped for a photo, did he? I know. Yeah. What have you got in it? And there he goes. So we've just got on board our picnic train and this is just, it's so quaint, i say the least. Uh, so Luke has boarded already, I'm sat next to Luke on the train. Hello. Hello. And uh, Joe is just on the other side, who is there. Filming there, we've got some other passengers in front of us there. We know that Unlucky Tug will be getting on board as well. Uh, we're just waiting for Jack, who's just been for a, just having a quick chat with someone he knows on the other end of the station. But we're going to keep our attention towards to make sure he boards with us so he doesn't miss it. Can we see if I can go find him? Uh, you probably might have to, yeah, it might be ideal if you do, just so we know okay. he's there. Just keep your bag here, we'll look after it. But, but yeah, this is we're actually on an actual Teleclin coach, and that's what we find weird so cool about this. Like, we are going to enjoy this ride, that's to say the least. And it's all, honestly, I think I think this is the greatest place I've ever been to in a while. So that's for sure. <laughs> oh, it's got lower window. No, it's <laughs> no, my son is sitting there and that's it. Can I buy you a Thank you. So we're on the train now, just preparing to head off to Peel Godred. The doors have been closed on the side, either side of the train. But we do have the windows open, so I will have a bit of a stream as the train goes by. That was the guard's whistle. It is time. The guard is going to And then it will be time to set off. Any second now, we are leaving. And it's moving. We're off. We're off, we're off. We're going away, we're going away. The picnic departs. Look at that. Out of Towing Station. Out of Towing. On, on our way to Peel Godric. Wave the wave to the Have a good day, everyone. <laughs> Bye. 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 Back out. We are now running across the We are now straddling our boyhood hero. Now I will save the battery for the scene. Smell that. Oh yes. Oh. Ooh, that's very nice. That's the smell of whales in the 19th century. So we're away and we're out of Tower to Tower Step Tower Wharf. Yes. And we're just thoroughly enjoying this train journey. Guys, we're yeah, thoroughly enjoying. Corner. Jack is indeed looking out the window <laughs> instead of looking at the camera, as no, is Luke. Sorry. <laughs> so yeah. We're all very much enjoying our journey. 
towards Peel Godred. That's uh, where we're headed to on our ride. So it's just one way to enjoy a train journey through the forests of yes, Wales. We are going to Peel Godred. <laughs> Godred won't know what hit him. Of course, Godred is a character in the railway series who appears in one book. He's got one image to his name. Yet he somehow got an Ertl model. So oh, I've got it. <laughs> yeah. So, it. As a bike. so yeah, I, was saying, uh, I saw one of the mountain engine illustrations while we were walking through the. Yeah, I the, think I did as well. Yeah, not we were, just like the illustration, but like a, a photo by the mountain engines, like a real oh, yeah. photo. Yeah, because the mountain, the mountain engines only had one book to their name, and yeah. Godred had like one image, one story to his name, as he went off a cliff and was never seen again. Aye, right, so yeah, but that, this is just a fun ride that we're having, and we're just going for lots of good scenic shots that we're going to have ahead of us. So I can't actually see what's happening on my camera at the moment, but hopefully you, you are. Oh, you'll, you'll, see, you'll see I go yeah. past. Oh, where you've got it, yeah, you will see him pass. Yeah, if I flip it, I should get a good enough. Come on, Ivo. He's coming, I can see him. Yeah, I see the back of him. And we'll have to start moving back. But essentially, Ivo I Hugh him, is coming. Him. He's right here now. We got the tokens ready. <laughs> Cold trucks. Brilliant. Trucks. Who's <laughs> <laughs> inside that one day? Nobody today. Oh. No? Someone's in there. That's Who's Sir Hayden. Just about six. That's Sir Hayden. Yeah. Just about six in there. In the workshop, yes. With any luck, I call as we cross the level crossing with a Mini Cooper yeah. out there. A wee toy car, as uh, Orla McCool would say. I love his wee toy car. Now I'll save the barriers. I recognise those trees already from the view, so it's not far off now. Yeah. There's no better way to see it. Oh, <laughs> 
ISO as possible. Yeah. Yeah, so that's the way that we've walked. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're about the part where we are where we can see from our accommodation. And this is just a mix of farms really, but this railway just comes through it. Great for the farmers just to see all this, to see this every day when they're at work. And the sheep. Start the end. Yeah, I mean, I like the railway definitely can look to it if you can. This is a ride, this is just one of the best train rides I've had, like, ever. It's the like, best train ride yeah, I've had. Yeah, I think that's Definitely. that's the way to put it. I mean, we've just passed lots of great scenery and all that. I mean, I've shown it through the camera, but it's even better when you look at it like, with your own eyes. And riding on this train to see it all is just, it's, it's, it's a worthy opportunity to do, and I'm loving it. Absolutely loving it. We just arrived at Dolgok here. There's more people waiting, but look at that side, Dolgok. So Dolgok being the basis for Reneas. So the water tower. It's right there. Oh, there it is. Reneas, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. mind about Johnny. <laughs> You'd better mind than if you want to waste your flight's money. Here he comes. Mm -hmm. Here he comes. Right, we are currently waiting for Duncan Hello. to pass. In fact, here he Hello. is. Sporting a nice blue livery. Hello. 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 My lord. My lord, stop to it. Hello. My lord, stop to it. My lord, stop to it. My lord, stop to it. Oh, just oh, yeah, saw that. Duck and toad. My lord, stop to it. Okay, so we just reached our destination. So off the train we go. So we're here for 45 minutes. Here we are. Here we are at Abergoffin. And yeah, we're here for 45 minutes. This is where we have our picnic. This should be great. We 
picked up our picnic meals now and we've just sat at this nice little picnic table at the table it's a little bit wet but uh, it's because it's been raining but to be honest after the heat wave earlier in the week it's more welcoming to have that than it is yeah. to be in the boiling hot Absolutely. heat and just look at that view behind me there of the uh, the of just of, Tal of Talikland Railway and I think we're all just we're here to enjoy our nice little meal that we have Jack is definitely mm. he's already digging into his sandwich as is Joseph and then on the other side we have Luke who is just preparing his own camera as we just take a look at this food as well. I've got salad, a bit of afternoon tea in there, cream tea. I've got apple juice, crisps, sandwich, and that. And then down there, all the other lucky tourists who have managed to collect the picnic tickets. The lucky tugs. The unlu <laughs> yes, <laughs> unlucky tug is also among them. So, because <laughs> we've, we spot we've spotted him a few times since mm -hmm. coming back. So, it's yeah, so not, bad, not, not bad at all, is it? And just look at the train and the line. We'll get some shots later on when we've finished yeah. of the rest of the train. But look at that, I mean. We've made it so So we're on the return journey now to Tower Wharf, having had a great picnic. And uh, yeah, I mean, I picked myself up a coffee as well because I was feeling a little, little drowsy. So I thought, pick myself up. And uh, I've swapped sides to the train this time in the carriage, so I'm still forward facing <laughs> this time around. And yeah, so we're just enjoying. We're going to catch some sites that I didn't catch on the way, one including the River Dolgok, Dolgok Falls, or whatever it is, near the station. And I'm good, I missed that, but I will catch that this time around as we head down, so do look out for it. It's blowing in the wind past the trees, if you keep your head still. Yeah, yeah I can see. <laughs> Find my eyes! <laughs> Dock Falls, right down there. Look at that. I'll tell you what, if I was here to do some jogging, I'd be going alongside there. Yeah. And All then, right. Yeah. All right. So we're for the last event of the evening, and this for for us anyway. And this is the uh, lecture. So we're just waiting for our train to go again this time. We had a little uh, hang around here at Tobin Wharf Station for another hour or so. Another little fun chat with Look Unlucky Tog, and of course Luke opposite me, who sat opposite me now, he got to have a really good, one to one. nice one to, one to one bonding chat with yeah. Tog. Yeah, basically got to tell them about how he inspired the content. So. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Tog, Tog inspired Luke, so it's only natural that uh, he declare his feelings. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> I, I, I got a good photo taken of both of them as well, so to send to send to him. So there, yeah, he's a he's a he's a canny lad, Unlucky Tog, to say the least. So that's always good to. Hear about it. And yeah, so we're just back at Tow and Wharf again after all this, getting ready to head back out. Just one stop up the line to watch the lecture, and then that's it for the day for us. And then we're gonna head back, probably grab, grab a quick spot of tea, then head back up to to our accommodation. And, there is a co op. Yes, and do watch something. Have a lovely supper. Exactly, there's a, fish, there's a chippy, there's a chippy which I want to actually am eyeing. Oh, you, you want to go there? I kind of am eyeing the chippy, yeah. yeah. Do, you, do, you guys, do you guys reckon so? Yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't see why not. Chippy? Chippy? Yeah. Yeah, Chippy. Not Bindley Mega Chippy, to say the least, but uh, <laughs> no, to Chippy. Oh, <laughs> but, not the Chippy. Yeah, we're not in Coventry, so we can't really go to Bindley, and neither is Drive, so. Tawin, Tally, Clinch. Oh, Bindley Mega Chippy. Mecca. Bindley Mega Chippy. Bindley Mega Chippy. Going on a pilgrimage to the Mecca Chippy. <laughs> First the mechanical shed, and now the Mecca Chippy. <laughs> it's just everything we've come up with now as a result of. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. Otherwise, we're in a little, we're in a low, own little compartment in the carriage, yeah. with the cushions. Very nice. So I like that one. Yes. Because uh, in the in the book, in Four Little Engines, it's described because Scarlet has five coaches. Yeah. Well, only one of them's first class with cushions. The rest of them are third class with benches, apart from one of them, which is a brake van. So, or a caboose to you Americans. This one would be um, like Gertrude or Millicent from yeah. one of the later books. Yeah, that's the thing with that. So yeah, as he says, we're about to head down to the... But no, we're heading off to the last event of the day, the lecture. 
I think it's Fred in front. We are yeah. being pulled by Fred. Fred the most yeah, we've got recent and yeah, we've been pulled by Fred. Duncan is at the back. We've got two engines, uh, double header. Double header. I want to check, but we're about to go under the bridge. So once we're under the bridge, I'll point the camera out the back and have a look. And then I'll point it out in front again. I won't be filming So yeah. Just come back inside. Uh, if we turn the camera around, so turn it up, to turn then we'll see the others. Fred is pulling us. He's been stationary all day, Fred. Hasn't he? Yeah. Yeah, so, it's, 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 poor, poor, poor guy, he's been on his own. <laughs> like, well, I think this is the most interesting thing Fred has ever done. Exactly. Not, not, not my dog, Fred. My dog, Fred's done more interesting things, but. Uh, that's to say that that's a, that's a that's a dog thing. My dog, my dog Freddy, my little terrier. He's a good fella, but yeah, that's what I can say in regards to that. I'm having a I'm having a, I'm having a whale of a time. I've got a pint of me right now at the minute as well, so that's something to enjoy. Right, so we just made it back to our accommodation for the evening. Uh, it was a good day, very good day. Lecture lecture was great. I got to got to get some more insight. It was sort of like a visual history towards the railways of Sodor, regarding certain characters such as Henry, Gordon, Duke. Uh, Thomas is even brought in a little bit, uh, and Percy, you know, every, every, everyone we know. Uh, a bit of a charity auction which Luke got lucky at, very lucky at, <laughs> and uh, that will be revealed in a later part. I, th I, I think I've come to the conclusion that I'm actually splitting this vlog into parts, like, I've seen this much later on, but I am, I'm going to be splitting this vlog into parts, because it's just, there's too much I've filmed to make it one long video. <laughs> And I'd like, I'd, I'd, you know, I'd like Hashtag to... Hashtag release the Harry cut. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that's my way of doing the Harry cut. One long video wouldn't work in that fashion. So, yeah. But as I said, uh, yeah, Luke won something in the silent auction, so I will show that in probably the next part. I'll probably, like, for each day, so... Yeah, we're going to collect it tomorrow. Exactly, as he yes. said there. But I did have a big haul of loot that I've got from the Talaclin Railway shop and uh, something from the bar as well. Uh, we, as I said, and just so we we got to meet Tim Dunn, who was reading out the lectures as well. Like uh, when absolute legend, as Lucas just said, there absolute legend. And sh I shook his hand, got to meet him properly. It was really good. So we just got back in our comfies now. So we're just gonna enjoy the rest of the evening. I think that's the way about it. So I'll tune in tomorrow. <laughs>